Winter nights put stress on the local homeless population, which continues to grow, leaving hundreds to rely on overnight shelters during the winter. Elizabeth Alveda joins us live at a possible future site of an overflow shelter. But Liz, something else could be built there even sooner? Yeah, Kirsten. Well, first, the city wants to have the overflow shelter located here at this vacant lot within a span of about two years. But with the harsh winters and so many of our neighbors living on the streets, the city is hoping to have a tiny home village set up in just a couple of months. 40 tiny homes could be built here, complete with electricity, a communal kitchen and bathrooms and even security. This is a life and death issue. As Reno's population continues to grow, rents continue to rise, and our homeless shelters are overflowing. Those who are probably most vulnerable are the ones that are hardest hit. And with temperatures dropping, it could mean a recipe for disaster. When temperatures uh, freeze, that literally can mean life or death for some of our, our neighbors. Which is why Reno City Council approved initiating the process for a tiny house village. Come on in. Inspired by tiny home communities in places like Seattle. Usually people put like a bed up here. To be built right here on five acres of vacant city owned property at 250 Sage Street. This is a great location with lots of space where we could easily put uh, tiny homes for the homeless. The goal is to build about 40 of the homes, which only cost a total of about $3,000 per unit. And although the homes are small, for many of our homeless neighbors, it'll be the first time in years that they'll have a roof over their heads. 120 square feet of a structure with a roof and a door is significant. The Reno Tiny Homes Coalition has come forward to help the project become a reality more quickly. The community said, how can we help? How can we be a part of this? Today, they launched an online crowdsourcing campaign for whoever has any change to spare to help. To start with 100,000 to help get them up and going, and then uh, we need about 250,000 beyond that. Ongoing costs include case management, electricity, behavioral health assistance, and other services that will be provided to the homeless at the tiny home community. And if all goes according to plan, that village could be a reality within as little as 90 days. I think it's time for Reno to hopefully step up and, and try it for, for ourselves here. Now, as of today, Livingstone Churches has already donated $15,000 toward this project. So if you'd like to donate, volunteer, or simply learn more about the Tiny Homes Village, you can visit our website at ktvn.com. Covering the story live on Sage Street, Elizabeth Olveda, Channel 2 News.